Hi, uh, this is Channing Humphrey with Semi Pro Live. We're here live from beautiful SMU. We're here in their beautiful indoor practice facility. Got an opportunity to see some of the premier athletes in the DFW, some pro and all sorts of levels. Going, putting in some work. Uh, I have the privilege of bringing you one of our premier interviews that we've ever had. I've got Des Bryant and one of our usual suspects, but he's become more and more rare since he's been putting in work with the professionals, uh, Mr. Craig LeBlanc. So I, I just wanted to say, man, How'd you guys meet and when did you guys start these workouts? So um, I actually started throwing with Dez, uh, with D-Rob, you know, the always open camp. So uh, that's kind of how it all started. We were helping get Dez ready for uh, his foray back into the NFL and, uh, you know, just, just watching him work. It, the energy, the vibe, it was just electric. And uh, day one, I told him, I was like, man, my life's different around you. It just really is. And so I think, you know, that was kind of it from there, right? Right, right. You know, um, I guess for, you know, for me, um, and I'm also kind of speak for Craig too as well, you know, you know, the great thing about what's going on out here is, is, you know, this is our sanctuary, you know, um, a lot of guys, it's, it's kind of like therapy, you know, for us, you know, and um, it's, it's a nice place to get away, not only to get away, but to make each other better, you know, and as you've seen today, you get, you get wins, you get losses, give you a little bit of motivation to come out here the next time to, you know, to compete and do better. But I think the main thing, the main beautiful thing about all of this is we are having fun and doing what we love. You know, we're just trying to tend to keep getting better and, you know, uh, you know, just be prepared for our next step. Now, from time to time, you get to be with some of the premier athletes who are coming up. Mm -hmm. What's it like to be able to have that one on one aspect with some of the youth from the DFW? Um, you know, what I love about it is, is, is I'm not really a big fan of camps. So um, I think the cool thing about um, what Craig and myself got going on out here is we're able to give that, that true one-on-one -on -one interaction with the youth and whoever trying to, you know, get better. I, I just, you know, I just think, like I said, it's needed. And, um, you know, this is uh, first, of, first, first of its kind with how we're doing it. And um, like I said, you know, um, it, it's needed, and it, Craig, he can elaborate a little bit more. Yeah, it's it's something that you know we both felt like, um, you know, both of us experiencing you know mental health issues and things like that in the past, and you know it's something that was important to us because when we got together to work out, when I was having a bad day, X would pick me up. When he was having a bad day, I would pick him up, and so it kind of started really as like a therapy more than anything. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you know, us doing what we love to take care of each other and kind of hold each other up and hold each other accountable. And so it's become this thing where, you know, now we're getting the youth involved and getting the younger guys involved and trying to help them grow and get to the next level. And obviously with you know, Dez's experience. And I'm sorry for cutting you off, Craig. Not only that, too, I just want to elaborate on what Craig was just saying. But like, for agents, too, you know, like, Absolutely. a lot of for agent guys, like I said, they need lifted up, too, because sometimes coming from, you know, that environment, that bad environments, this is all we have, you know, so we have to be there. We have to be there for one another, and, you know, we just wanted to make this thing a home, and, you know, that's what we created. That's what it is, baby. Two live crew. Two live late night crew. Now, before I let you go, just speaking on that last note before I let you go, um, at, we're semi-pro live. Before we started doing big and youth sports, we used to cover semi-pro and uh, arena football. It's full of athletes that may have had a fall or a tumble, and they're trying to build themselves back up and get mm -hmm. back where they want to be. What kind of tips could you give our audience and what was your personal motivation to just work your way back into the position you're in today? Well, personal motivation is uh, my babies. That's first and foremost. You know, they, they wanted to see daddy get back out there and play. You know, in our reality, I was really considering being done with the game. And, you know, my daughter was like, daddy, come on. You know, and I got Craig. You know, um, just letting me know, d Rob. they both was letting me know, X, you still got it, you know, get up, you know, come on, then, you know, let's get to it, you know, and, you know, they constantly, consistently hit me up, telling me, come on, you know, so, you know, it was really, it was really more, it was really, it was really more so them, you know, putting their energy into me to, to get back out there, you know, to get that opportunity with Baltimore and led to this situation to where I think this is something that we'll be doing even when my career is done and no matter, you know, what's going on in this world. We just want to make that place, you know, for these athletes who, who, who need the love. All right. Now, before I let you guys take off, uh, do you guys have any organizations or any uh, nonprofits that you want to plug or bring attention to before uh, we, I let you go? Oh, I said we're building on that right now. 
Uh, we got, got, we got something coming. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, man. Well, this has been a great interview. You guys take off, man. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next time on Semi Pro Live. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. It's great work today, man. That's what we do. We are making each other, making each other better. Can I find